Then comes along Bitcoin. 3rd of January 2009 was the genesis block of Bitcoin. Now, if you don't know what that means, is the genesis block is the very first block on the Bitcoin blockchain that was mined by the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto. And what a lot of people don't know about the genesis block is that there's a little bit of data, or as Nick likes to say, data, or if you're American, whatever, but I call it data. Um, there's a little bit of data inside the genesis block of the very first block of the Bitcoin blockchain. A lot of people don't know this. Uh, it's got nothing to do with the actual process of how the block gets mined. But this little piece of data reads exactly as follows. The times, 03 slash Jan slash 09, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. That very day <clears throat> that the Bitcoin Genesis block was mined, that was the headline on the Times newspaper. And that is the very core essence of why Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies really exist today. It's because a group of people decided that they'd had enough of a system that didn't work for everybody. And that through this, rooted in cryptography and mathematics, we have a better way to create something that works. And it, you know, it, I'm go, I'll go into this later about how that's expanded since then. But that is the very core nature of why cryptocurrencies exist. Because you didn't have the choice, you didn't have the power, you didn't have the control about how your money got spent, but your wealth was eroded in that time because of the reckless actions of a few with too much power and too much control. <clears throat>